guys, Ika here, and welcome back to another episode of Roguelike Adventures and Dungeons with me! Yay! And we're back in the Betweenlands. Or we never left the Betweenlands, to be honest. And we got a little, nice little tree tree fort thingy jigger going on here. Made it look all pretty. There's very few flying creatures I've met. I've only met one, and it was not here. So I think we're good just having an open concept for right now. Put my speedy stuff back on. There we go. So we go in, and there's just a little bit of stairs. Put a little bit of checkpoint here, because it looks nice, to be honest. Just to be honest, it looks nice. So we got a little bit of a quick checkpoint, maybe just in case we need to drop the thing off or two. But then we go down into the main area, spruced it up a little bit. Got a little bit of storage, we got our dull sulfur furnace. Been uh, mining just ever so little bit. We also got an angry pebble, and the rock I got it from itself was very angry. It's stormy here. I've been on here for a little bit doing off-camera work, just running around and stuff. And boy, it sounds like real thunder and stuff. <laughs> like, I'm running around, like, and, and, and for some reason, I've been struck by lightning three times. I don't like it. But it's happened. But I've been trying to kill some stuff, and we got eight slimy bones, one lurker skin. I know we need that at some point. I've also been eating some of these mushrooms. I don't like them, but I have no other food source. They make me more hungry. So maybe I shouldn't eat them unless I need hearts. Probably. Um, but yeah, so I've been... We've been killing some of the stuffs. Stop with the drumming! I've been killing some of the stuffs. Uh, mining a little bit, so we got some sulfur. That I got from, uh... The... One of those pots. We got a little bit of sulfur and things, and since we've been killing, also made some sulfur torches. We've been killing. We got eight slimy bones, which should be enough to make a bone sword and a bone pickaxe, which together, I hope, will last longer. Because I've had to make so many of these swords to kill what I've been killing. So pickaxe, so durability three, two, one. Yeah, much better. There's that, and then here's air sword, which is 3, 2, 1 again, instead of 81. Also does 5 instead of 3.9. So, there we go! And that should complete this, which will give us one gold coin. It opens up a lot of stuff. And then it opens up this. We get coins, and we get another pot of- excuse me, another pot of chance! And now it's wanting us to make bone armor. I don't have enough to make bone armor. I have three bones, which isn't enough to make anything. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put the sword up, gonna put the pickaxe up, and the rest of the bones up for now. I'm gonna break this. Termite! No! Bad. 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 I knew one day that one of those pots were gonna be bad. <laughs> I do need armor. Stop it! Mm. How well do these light up? Ooh. Okay. So, angler, tooth arrow, and an octimerite arrow, which is better than nothing. I haven't been using the bow very much because we don't have a lot of arrows. And arrows seem to be hard to get because we would have to kill anglerfish. And that just isn't happening. I need more mushrooms. Hang on. I think there is a safer way to make this, but I need... What is it? Mushroom. See, we can make a nettle soup, but we need nettles, and in order to do that, we'll need shears. And to make the shears, we need an ore called Cyramorite? Cyr Cyramorite. Cyramorite. We would need Cyramorite, which now we can finally get with this pickaxe. So let's not just jump straight down there, because I dug straight down. So it actually does. Calls it a cavern. And it sounds different down here. At least you don't hear the rain anymore. <laughs> um, but actually, if we go to where we dug straight down, there's Sirenmite right here. And now we can mine it, because we can mine it with a uh, wooden pick. And there should be some more around here somewhere. There are lots of sulfur, which we'll, of course we'll get at some point. I just don't want to spend too long down here. And there's also an ore called Octomarine? I could have that completely wrong. Oct 
Octane. I was close. Uh, Octane, which I haven't actually seen yet, so I'm not sure. I haven't been down here too long, but I'm not sure how common and or rare that is. Ooh, that gives off a lot of light. Okay. So let's let's see. We only have four. There's some more over here. Get some more of the Seermorite. Seermorite. It's also a lot of lichen, lichen, cave moss. We need moss too. Okay, so we definitely just need to make shears because I know moss is used in something. The nettles will make better food for us. I hope because they're pointy. It's more sulfur. It's dark down here. Uh, there are a lot of these stalactites. Look actually kind of pretty. Sulfur, sulfur. I just want to see ow, if we can find the other kind. What's that? More sulfur. <gasps> we found some! Haha, <laughs> can we mine it? We can! It's fiery. Okay, so we got some of that too. Yay! So that's just all the way down here. Okay, so I might mark this as deeper cavern. Because I didn't see it anywhere above this. Any more? No. Okay. So let's quickly mark this as deeper cavern. Okay, cool. So let's go back home a bit and let's make those shears. Because those are going to be needed. Okay, so let's throw all that in there and I guess we could throw that in there. And this is powered by sulfur, if I remember right. Yeah, I don't know what that other thing does, but cool. Now I can do two at once. Yay, okay. So what does the this quest book? It, it does want us to get ingots, one of each. Two of that, one of each. Oh, and it's going to tell us to make the shears, okay. And the ceramite armor. Ooh, what's crack, crack rock? It's a type of stone that generates below mossy crag rock. In both crag rock spires and in patches in the coarse island biome as well as idol head statues and around crag, crag rock towers. I think I actually saw that earlier. And so we need to mine that. Okay. Lots of things finished at once. Ooh, new shinies. Cool. Okay, so we can claim that. We can claim this. And then we can claim in here as well. Alright, and you can go in there, and you two can go in here, except I want that. So as simple as that, yep, here's the shears. Okay, I'm glad that it's telling me to do that, because I was afraid I was jumping ahead. And, okay, that's what we needed the moss for, I wanted to make a, we need a mossy bed. So actually, let's quickly go back down to the deeper cavern. I'm just going to grab three of them, because I'm not quite sure how much we'll need later, but for right now I am positive we just need the three. And that way we can make a bed and every time I die I stop just spawning in a tree. Cool. Uh, mossy bed. So I'm gonna place this right... Well, actually that could have stayed there. Right there, and can we sleep? Your spawn has been set to the mossy bed. Yay! I don't think we can sleep, but it's there. We'll try to sleep later. Oh no, it says it's night time, we just don't sleep. Okay. That's fine. As long as my spawn's there. So yay! Okay. Ooh, and that gave us a chance cube. I don't know how I feel about that. Scabist. Scabist can be used to coat any between lens tool affected by corrosion with a tooltip. Uh, it's a value on tools and dear each piece of scabist applied to the tool gives it 75 coating points. Any number between 1 and 8 can be crafted with the tool at once. Uh, I don't know what that is. Now I have a chance cube. Well, we gotta open it. What's far away? I think the... I Oh yeah, I have something. It's dark. I forgot. It's okay. I don't know what this is. I found another one and mined it and nothing happened, so I don't... I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. I hope it's nothing important, because I might just destroy this area by accident, but we'll see. What's that? Oh, is that all of the effects? Oh! 
I have collapsed. Look, ooh, I got more quests. And this is so we can spend that in the shop if we need anything. Cool. Well, I have luck for a minute. I don't know what that does. Okay, uh, actually. Just talking about that stone that I found earlier. And what did it say? It was found in places like... What was it said it was found in? I think it's actually behind us. Is it over here? So this is all swamp grass. Moss, mossy crag. Crag rock top. Yay. How much of this did it want? <laughs> it wants one just straight up crag rock. Okay. I don't know what this is for, but I'm getting it. Because it just said that we had it. Um... Okay, I have it. Is there anything you wanted me to do with it? Ooh, another pot of chains. Cool. Oh, it's needed for a motor. Okay, so let's actually get a little bit of this. I'm learning. The learning here between lands is interesting. I didn't know that the types of rock mattered. That's like saying that, like... And a site specifically used for a rock thing. I don't know. I'll just grab the normal type. Not uh, 23. I don't want to use up this entire pickaxe if I'm wanting to go get more of the other types of ingots later. But maybe this sword will help us kill some more more more, more guys. Anyway. Okay. Cool. So we have that. And now, now that one's bone tooth. Now we can make Ceramite armor. Full set of Ceramite armor. Ceramorite. Provides 14 armor points or 7.5 armor icons and resorts. 56 of damage from the fire at the expanse of durability. Huh. You're an animator. The more unit needs to be prepared, the greater the cost of fuel and crystal charges in the animation process. Oh! Ah. And then we can also make a compost bin, which is from we would Okay, so we do we just in general need more of those. Okay. But while we're out and it's nighttime, I did notice this. Or unless I turned it all I turned it all off, I have an actual animals, show pets, show villagers. I've been trying, it doesn't actually show the bad guys on my map. And I depend on that a lot. <laughs> to be utterly honest. So, like, what was that? I saw you! Oh, it's a gecko! Okay, you're okay. I don't want to kill a gecko. I wanted to get, like, um... These weird guys. What the heck is that? Why is it suddenly brighter out? Oh, another thing I discovered is I brought my normal boats with us. We don't have to use the crazy boat. <laughs> Completely forgot. I like the other boat. Don't 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 get me wrong, but this is so much easier to control. So we're just gonna use this one. It's traveling. I don't like purple, purple guys. I don't like them. They they hit hard. Except now I'm stuck in. A, I I chose the wrong place to bring my boat. What are these? Oh, we were also looking for nettles! I keep forgetting why we're out here. <laughs> okay, so we have the shears. So actually, if I just go ahead and get out, like, right here. There were nettles about... Here-ish? This is not cheating, I swear. Because it does that! I'm in the caverns. I'm very low below. Okay, try that again. Let's place us... Edit... At like... 130. Oh, there we go. Cause I just... Uh, that's another thing I've come to realize is that... We're up much higher than I thought we were. We're at Y121. Which means we're at nettles. Okay. Uh, 
found the nettles. Because they're pointy, so I hope this food doesn't hurt me. Oh, mud. I don't like walking in the mud. Mm. Oh god, violin guy's back. What does that mean? <gasps> don't freeze on me! There's a guy! I want to kill him! Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. I don't like it when this happens. I don't know why it does. I'm just walking. See, it never does this when I'm in the middle of something like big or huge, like a uh, sudden block change or whatever. It just happens. It just happens. Walking around or just standing there. It just happens. Okay, we'll be right back. Ah, we're back. Okay, I'm being punched. 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 I'm... Okay, we're dead. Am I in my bed at least? Yeah, okay, so that worked. Oh, this again, I want to show you guys. And this is a new guy I've never seen before, too. I've seen him once. And he makes the world kind of wavy-ish. It's called a white. And every time you punch him, he says white. It's like a Pokemon. And he does this thing that I don't like. He tries to... He attaches your, himself to your head. And there's... Hopefully no way... Hopefully he stops chasing me! Stop it! Stop it! Not a lot- Ah! He got it! He got it! See, he's on top of me. He, he's- We're sharing- Oh, far! Okay, ow, ow. Get off of me! Why are you so big? You're on top of me! Get off of me! She's stuck there? Off of me! Okay. Oh no, he's still on me. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I killed him. Okay. I got a white sart. This food is not nourishing enough to improve your health. That's fine. Eh. But that's how hard it is to kill those guys! The, um... I don't know if killing a firefly will do anything. Nope. Geckos are too fast. Um, and then there were the wilderness guys that I forget the name of right now. Those aren't too bad to kill. They pack a punch! But, if you can get on top of, like, uh, two block tall something or another, they have the hardest time. Ew. Ew. Well, I got it now. They have the uh, hardest time getting you. But okay, let's uh, delete that death point and let's go home for a second. Uh, home. Okay, so I got the nose, so I do want to make. I want to see if normal food is good for me. <laughs> Essentially. Okay, so four bowls of nettle soup. Oop, wrong thing. What does this do to me? It's great. Okay, cool. Um, nettle soup, we'll just keep eating that. And it gives a lot of freaking saturation. Okay, we need to keep up on nettle soup. That. Awesome. Can I cook snail flesh? See what that tastes like, too. Okay, cool. What are we looking at? Okay, cool. So we actually just need a little bit more of this here in my armor, which we can begin with the simple chest plate. Aha! So, I didn't complete anything yet because we need the full set, but we got the chest plate, meaning I'm going to put that on right now. Ooh, okay, and that gives a little bit of armor. It makes me a little slower, and my attack speed's a little bit down, but that is okay. 
I'm not planning on fighting, I'm planning on mining. Four right now. I do want to know if that moss is. Moss. Is that used for anything else? Talisman. It's for decoration. Beds. Compost. We can make compost. Which I don't know what compost is for. I guess it's like bone meal. That's the best thing I can think of right now. It's the only thing is you can make a block of compost. Okay, cool. And seared snail flesh does a little bit. Does three plus some saturation. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll save that for later. We'll save that for later. Okay, so... Come on. Alright. So that's the, that, that, that's the end of the episode. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I really do. I'm learning a lot of things. We're finally getting armor. We're, I'm going to try and get the rest of the armor set for the next episode. I uh, don't think it'll take too long that we got this awesome pickaxe. And hopefully we can also get a little bit more of the... What should I call it? Those slimy bones. Because that would be extremely helpful. I don't need re-rope. Um, but yeah. Because it also wants us to make that armor too. Which is 5 armor for the chest plate. But for this is 6 armor. So technically it's worse. I don't know why it's kind of wanting us to do both. It just seems like a waste of these bones. But ah, whatever. We'll make the bone set. We'll wear it once or twice. It'll be fine. Make it look, look cool, though. Maybe that's the point. Just look cool and keep calm. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you have any tips, tricks, or suggestions, put them in the comments below. Anything is helpful. Anything is helpful. Just, just If you have any anything to say, just tell me. It's helpful. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.